I'm Eddie Ruiz, and I exist to help sharpen your biblical mindsets to love God and love others well. And welcome to the series on systematic theology. Whether you're a newbie or a seasoned pro, there's always something that we can learn together. And as a disclaimer, these videos are just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to understanding theological concepts. So don't come to me in the comments telling me we gotta go deeper. We will, but these videos are designed specifically to give you a quick top level overview but there's so much more to explore. So take this as your starting point and dive a little deeper into these incredible topics. Theology can be a pretty controversial topic based on differing beliefs and opinions within the church and outside of the church. But our focus here at TBM is to study what the Bible actually says, not what we think it says, because honestly, that approach ensures that our understanding is rooted in scripture rather than our personal interpretation, which we know can be really dangerous. So grab your notepad, get comfortable, and let's dive right in. Theology literally means a word about God. But before you start yawning, let's break it down. Imagine you're trying to understand a friend better. You spend time with them, you ask them a bunch of questions, and you literally observe all of their little actions here and there. Well, theology is that same thing, but on a cosmic scale. It's our effort to understand God, his character, and his actions as revealed within the pages of the Bible. Now, Christian theology is particularly special, but why is it so special? Well, it's because it's centered on God, sourced from the Bible, and aims to make us more godly. As Alva McLean beautifully puts it, out of God, all things come, through God, all things exist, and unto God, all things return. It's really like the divine circle of life. But why should we study theology? Let's break that down with a few everyday examples. Number one, we study theology to understand the character of God. Think of it like getting to know a friend personally, like we discussed before. The more you know the person, the deeper the relationship is. And as Jeremiah 9, 24 puts it, but let the one who boasts, boast about this, that they have the understanding to know me, that I am the Lord who exercises kindness, justice, and righteousness on earth. For in these I delight, declares the Lord. In other words, getting to know Jesus is the number one aim of studying theology. Number two, to see his attributes in action. Remember when you were a kid and you used to watch superhero movies and you saw the hero's powers actually come to life? Well, theology is the same way. It lets us see God's power, his love, his justice and mercy in the world all around us. Like Romans chapter one, verse 20 tells us, for since the creation of the world, God's invisible qualities, his eternal power and divine nature have clearly been seen, being understood from what has been made so that people are without excuse. His attributes are everywhere to be seen. Number three, to discover his plans for us, humanity. It's like knowing the game plan of your favorite sports team. Understanding God's design, his intricate design for our lives, helps us navigate life with a deeper, more focused purpose. And as some might think, theology isn't just about dusty old books sitting on a shelf. It's actually really vibrant and relevant to our time and our culture today. But there's different types of theology that approach understanding God from various angles. So let's break them down. Biblical theology organizes scripture by themes or authors. Think of it like reading a story from start to finish, watching how the characters develop and how the themes and the story unfolds. That's biblical theology. Exegetical theology examines each verse of the Bible meticulously to understand its full meaning in context. Remember, context always matters. It's kind of like a detective analyzing all the clues to solve a mystery. Historical theology is really awesome. It's like a time travel machine through the church's past. It explores how beliefs have developed and changed over time. Natural theology finds evidence of God in the natural world around us. It's like going on a giant hike and uncovering all the little details, the little intricate details that God so perfectly designed right into nature all around us. Pastoral theology, one of my favorites, is like having a GPS for life guiding you through everyday decisions with biblical principles. Pastoral theology applies doctrine to everyday life. Did you did you catch all that? Because that's, that's quite a bit, but don't worry, relax, don't click off just yet. We're gonna dive into all of those in due time. But finally, the one that we'll be diving into primarily is systematic theology. So what is it exactly? Think of it as organizing your wardrobe by seasons. It brings order to understanding biblical teachings. 
Charles Spurgeon once said, Systematic theology is to the Bible what science is to nature. It's about seeing the big picture of God's plan from Genesis to Revelation. Let me explain it another way. Exegetical theology provides the bricks. Biblical theology lays the foundation and systematic theology constructs the house. It's a more holistic approach that helps us live out our faith with clarity and conviction. Now, all of this study is fantastic. It's amazing, but let's not forget the practical side of studying theology. It's about sound doctrine as the Bible teaches us leads to godly living. 1 Timothy 4.16 highlights this perfectly where it says, watch your life and your doctrine closely. In other words, what we believe truly shapes how we live. In the end, theology isn't just for scholars, it's for anyone who wants to deepen their relationship with God and live a life that reflects his ultimate truth found in the pages of the Bible. Thanks for hanging out with me as we dive into these biblical concepts together. And this is just the beginning and there's gonna be so much more ahead, so stay tuned. And if you've enjoyed the discussion so far, share it with a friend because there's always something new to learn. And don't forget to subscribe to keep spreading the gospel of Jesus. And remember friends, Keep it biblical, and I'll see you in the next one.